Okay, guys, welcome back. So we are continuing with basic HTML codes. So let's look at basic codes and see. Now, as we already know, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now, this language has a few tags, then text that the browser can interpret. The web browser can interpret this language. Now, like I always tell my student, when you speak uh, Latin to an Englishman who doesn't understand Latin, he's not going to understand what you are saying. So the browser, the web browser can interpret the HTML codes. Now, it, it is a very, very simple language that we can actually write with any text editor. And the text editor we're going to be using for this one is Notepad. So we're going to be using Notepad for this. Now, this is going to be your first HTML code. Now, you can see up here, you can see it for yourself. You have um, HTML, you have head, you have title, you have uh, my page, my own page, then head again, body, H1, I am your dash name, this is my web uh, page, then H1 again, body, then HTML. Now, the few pieces you understand here is this. It's very simple. Is that we have tags, we have words, and we have letters. The tag we have here is greater than and less than, then greater than equals to and less than. That's the tag we have here. So before we start to explain this, I want you to look for a notepad. You can download one from the Play Store on your phone and type this. And after typing them, typing this, save it as your name.html. That is how you are going to save it. So go ahead now, work on this. So this is your assignment right now. You should do it now before coming back to the video. Now, this is active practice. Go ahead, type on a notepad. If you have a, a laptop, it's better. But if you don't have a laptop, you can still do it on your mobile. Just get uh, a notepad on your mobile, download it from Play Store, and type. Now, you are just written your fixed HTML code. And I think it is beautiful. So go and open that HTML code that you've written. Open it with a browser. Because you save it with HTML, .html, so open it in the browser. Let's talk about the tags. The HTML tag, that's greater than HTML, less than, uh, tells the browser that the code that is about to be written is, will be written with HTML. And one basic rule about HTML is that whatever you open, you are going to close. So when we have greater than HTML, uh, less than, we are, that's the opening of HTML. When you are done with HTML, you need to end it. You need to close it with greater than equal to that's greater than four slash html less than now we have the head the head tag also open and it closes so you can see it open with greater than greater than head less than then it closes with greater than forward slash or if you like greater than equal to head less than the same thing goes for all other tags you are going to write you need to close them so you see, we have body, we close the body. We have a head, we close the head. And that is how you write your HTML code. Now, let's look at the result of your task. What we ask you to do, let's look at the result. Now, here is a beautiful site. Now, if you check what you have written and what we have here, they're not the same. However, I'm going to show you the code that I wrote this one right about now. Now, this is the code I wrote this one. So right now, we are entering tax two. So you are going to write this code. You are seeing here, pause the video, write this code right here on, right there on your notepad. Now, practical, active work. So when you are done, then you successfully have written your first HTML code. Don't forget, this code will give you this. This code you see here will result in this. You can change the color, you can alter it, whichever one you want to do, but this, this code right here, we're going to give you this. So if you don't have something like this, then we need to revert back, look at it again, rewrite the code until you have something close to this. So you can, like I said, you can change and alternate the colors. 
So that is our basic HTML. So get to work and let me know on the comment section what your results are like. Now, let's look at uh, basic uh, CSS scripting. If you, if you look at your work here, you realize there was a little uh, CSS, what we call stylish sheet in there, which is the first thing after HTML. Now, let's look at uh, basic uh, CSS scripting. Now, what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Now, it is a style sheet language used for styling the presentation of your web page. Now, it adds um, color to your web page, it styles the font, it creates margin and lines and height and width and background and images. All these are done with CSS. So let's write our CSS code. The one you saw earlier, let's write one. Before, before we go in to write that, let me just show you a few things about CSS. Now, you can write this your first CSS script, but however, CSS also has tags. Now, when you use CSS tags, is to, uh, you, you use the tags and interpretation. I'm going to explain that to you shortly. However, write this your first CSS code. You can see H1, uh, curvy bracket open, then you next line, you have color, column, then you give the color property that you are uh, that you want to want the color to be. So the color property here is orange. Then we have text align. That's how do you want the text to be? How do you want the text to align? What I have here is center. Now, when you are writing CSS, remember the CSS understand the America spellings, not the British spelling. So you can see center here is spelled the American way, not the British way. So don't write the British spelling for CSS. It's not going to understand it. So use the America spellings, right? Now, you can see the curvy bracket open it and the curvy bracket close it. Now, this time around, you're not going to save .html. You're going to save .css. And don't forget, the code we have there was a styling sheet code, and it was saved as style. You're going to understand that now. So just write your CSS code the way it is here, and save it .css. As a matter of fact, save it as style.css. Still on the notepad. That's why you're still going to write this on the notepad as well. Now, if you want to expand this code, you can expand the code a little. What we have there was color and text align. Now, we've added background and padding. Padding is the size in between with the text you have written. That's the, 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 both the side and the up and down. That's padding. Now we have background, background color. Now we have yellow. Then we have a padding. Then we have a 10 pixel. So we have the curvy open as uh, curvy bracket open and curvy bracket close as usual. Save it the same way, style.css. So just an expansion of what we have on the other side. So this is your CSS link. You have a greater than link real equal to then you have styling sheet in, in a quotation to show that the language is a styling sheet, it's a CSS. That's why you have that. Then you have a href equal to then the title of what you use to store your styling sheet, your CSS. What we use, if you remember, is style.css. Then uh, quotation close, then you have your less than. When you do this, this is your uh, CSS link. So we're going to go back and see what our CSS link is on the other side. Now, you can see the CSS link here was exactly what we have on the other side, right? This is the CSS link that gave color to this entire HTML code that you are seeing. So if, that, if you wrote exactly what is here, you might not have a exact result like this one. You might not have a exact result like this one. The reason is because your CSS link has, wasn't created at the time. Now that you have created your CSS link, just ensure that your CSS uh, code that you saved and the HTML are in the same folder and you will have a exact result that you have here depending on the color that you put there. Now, this is your basic CSS and HTML coding. It is as simple as that. You can expand upon this. We're going to drop the dictionary for you 
uh, both HTML and uh, CSS dictionary. I'm going to drop that for you on the description box so that you can go ahead and learn as many as possible that you can learn. But before then, that's as many tags as possible that you can learn. Before then, I want you to understand what CSS is about. So this is what I call the anatomy of CSS rule. You have what we call a selector, you have a property, then you have value. So a selector is um, like this H1 you are saying is indicating where uh, you want the CSS to affect. I'm going to show you now when I'm done with this explanation. Then you have the color, which is the property. The, pro the property is supposed to have a value. What do you want the color to be? So orange. Text align is also a property. What do you want it to be? Center. So both text align, property and uh, value, they are actually called declaration, both of them. So both text align and color and uh, center are called declaration. So declaration is a combination of property and value. Then the selector is where you want it to affect in your work. So I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to show you so that you can understand that. You can see somewhere here we have H1. So H1 is where you want the color to uh, uh, apply to. So H1 only. So all the CSS we've written, we want it to apply to only H1. You can see that's how we selected H1. So if you want it to affect somewhere else, you select that place that is in your uh, HTML, uh, HTML script. So I'll go back. You can see it is only the H1, my website, that uh, our CSS affected. I hope that is clear. Now, that is basic CSS and HTML. In our next video, we'll be looking at what you see is what you get. Then we'll look at Blogger Blog. So we're talking about Wigo Shigo. So we're going to look at what you see is what you get interface, then our Blogger Blog.